Last time, we implemented basic predicates and started to see some test cases passing. This time, we'll implement basic sorting and see more of our test turn green. Implementing sorting is much simpler than implementing predicates because there is no recursive structure to process. Instead, we have a simple list of orderings that we will turn into a SQL order by clause. Let's get started. Just like last time, we will modify our SQL template to add a new order by clause. Just like last time, we'll delegate to a new function to generate the SQL for the order by clause. In this case, our new function is called visit order by elements, and it breaks down the order by property of the query request. Visit order by elements processes a list of order by elements, each of which identifies an expression to order by and a sort order, ascending or descending. So let's implement this new function. This function makes a special case for a list of elements of length zero, because otherwise we generate an invalid SQL statement. Otherwise, it delegates to another function to generate the SQL for a single order by element and concatenates the results. This has the desired effect of implementing the lexicographical order, where the first order by element takes precedence, the second acts as tiebreaker in the case of equality, and so on. Now let's implement the visit order by element function. Here we'll pattern match on the element dot target dot type property, which determines the type of expression that we'll need to evaluate. For now, we'll only implement sorting based on the simplest column expressions. For the other cases, we'll throw an error. In the column case, we only handle the case where path is empty, just like we did for predicates. When we implement relationships, we can come back and implement the general case here. Otherwise, the generated SQL is simple. Just the name of the column, followed by the sort direction. Actually, that's all that we need to implement sorting. We can rebuild our connector and rerun the test suite to make sure that our new test cases are passing. If we look at our snapshots directory, we can now see some examples of sorting queries, which include the order by property. This query is requesting artist data ordered by the name column descending. And we can see that indeed the names are reverse alphabetical order in the result. That's all for now. Next time, we'll start to look at aggregates.